Hi there, I'm Danny Steinmetz, analytics consultant here at InnerWorks. I'm going to be introducing you to InnerWorks' new and improved CBI Studio. CBI Studio is short for Custom Background Image Studio. Custom Background Images are one of Tableau's greatest tools for visualization customization. So let's get started. Once you open CBI Studio, you'll be greeted with this view where you have the option to choose between creating based off an image that you'd like to create data points from, or using a map to draw coordinates or plot geographic areas. I'm gonna jump over to our image options. So this is where we get a bit, be a little bit more creative with our opportunities here. We have a few different ways to bring this image into CBI Studio. I can drop a file, or I can select a local file. I can use a URL or I can start from a blank canvas. In this case, I'm gonna use a local file. I can choose the file here and it'll bring me to my file explorer or I can drag and drop an image. For this example, I'll be using the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. The Indianapolis Motor Speedway is the largest boarding venue in the world, housing over more than 250,000 seats. I'm going to be creating a viz that helps highlight the different monuments that can fit inside the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for this example. You can see we have the same options before where we can select different points and drop points where I might want them. I can choose a path if I wanted to trace something such as the racetrack going around the speedway. And finally, I have the polygon option, which is what I'm going to use in this example. We have a few settings that we can adjust before we get started. I can select to show coordinates. I can also choose to show guidelines. You'll notice a guideline is gonna be when I start to click in one place, you can start to see that line showing me what's gonna connect these two dots. We also have an option for what our active shape looks like. So as I start to draw, you'll notice right now, it's that bright orange color. I can always go in here and change that if I wanted something with a higher contrast. So if I change it to green there, as opposed to this gray, which is a bit harder to see. I'm gonna leave it at that bright orange color. And I can start to click on the different locations. We can change the color of the closed shape. So once we're done drawing one of these shapes, we can close it out and it'll change color. So we know which ones we're working on versus which ones we've already completed. This is especially helpful when we have overlapping shapes. We can also change the color of these grid lines. Right now, it's this light gray, but I can choose something like this bright green or maybe an orange to help really contrast with the background. If we were drawing on a blank canvas, I could also change the color of that blank canvas. We have the option to show grid lines or hide grid lines. And we can also choose snap to grid so that it'll snap to one of these different locations that we can see. I can also adjust the size of the grid, typing in here. If I want more specific options, I can decrease that to be closer to 10 or I can choose 50 if I'm a little bit more loose with my drawing. I'm gonna leave this at 20. And I can also adjust the opacity of the underlying image. So once we have our first shape selected, we can start to outline our other shapes. And just so we can see the difference, I'm gonna change our closed shape to this green. You can then continue to draw the rest of the shapes you need for your viz. This would be an important place where we could start naming these different shapes. So for example, I have the Vatican City and the Rose Bowl already drawn. As I continue to draw, I can choose to label those shapes to help me keep track or to join them to data in the future when I add it to Tableau. If we want to change that background image, we always have the option to remove that image. But an important thing to note 
is this file size because we will eventually use this data in our Tableau visualization. Once we have all of our data ready, we can then download it or copy to data so that we can then use it in something like Excel. I'm going to then open up Tableau. You'll see I've already added that Excel file that I made one slight change to in adding the size of each of the different structures in acres. And now I have that as my data source. Our next step is to tell Tableau how to understand how this data relates to that image. To do that, we're going to go to map. Under map, we can go to background images, and I'm going to choose this sheet that I'm building off of right now, just called sheet one. Next, I'm going to choose to add an image. It's going to give me this pop out where I can select where that file is using either copying and pasting a URL image, a file path, or I can browse my computer for that file. I'm going to choose the image I used. And then I need to map out how Tableau can translate these X and Y coordinates to something that makes sense to this visualization. CBI Studio intuitively names these fields. For our X field, it's just going to be X. And for our Y field, Y. Next, we need to tell it the size of the image. We can go back into CBI Studio, and this is going to be where that information we recorded is going to be needed. Our first number, that 896, is going to be our width. So I'm going to go back in here, and for right, type in 896. For our top, it's going to be the second number, the 479. So I'm going to add that as our top, 479. If I want to adjust the washout, so how transparent that image is, I can. I'm going to leave it all the way here and then click OK. You'll notice that it says no under valid. This is because I don't have any data on my sheet. Once I add data, it'll tell us whether that's valid. So don't worry right now if it says no for valid. I'll click OK, and then I need to add our X and Y to columns and rows. So I'm going to add X to columns and Y to rows. You'll notice in the bottom left here, we have the very, very tiny image. I'm going to change both of these to be average for now, both the X and Y. And you can start to see that background image. But we need to make a few additional changes to get to the visual we're trying to get in the end. I'm going to start by adding shape ID to color. And it's going to look a little weird at first. So right now, we have these different shapes. They seem to be in the right spot. But it's just giving us one dot for each shape. And it's taking the average of all of the dots that make up the shape. Instead, I want to change my marks to polygons. It looks a little crazy right now, but what I need to do is take point ID and drop it onto detail. It almost gives us what we want, but not quite. We have these weird kind of cool shapes going on. I need to tell Tableau the order of these different points, because right now it's just going from left to right. So to do that, I'm going to take point ID, and instead of putting it on detail, I'm going to drop it onto path and it's going to fill out that shape. You can then start to make some changes, like removing our different axes, editing the tooltips, and adding some more pertinent information, such as maybe our structure and the size of each of these. So add the structure and the size. Once we have all of this information, we can make other changes, like maybe adjusting the opacity so we can see through. And it's really up to you how you use the rest of this information. And that's how you can use CBI Studio. Thank you. Good luck visualizing and have fun.